Hello everyone, this is Kate with Scholar and Marketing. Today I want to go over with you guys how to add a social design and command into an email campaign template. So the first thing that we want to do is log into command. Um, now to access command, you're going to go to agent.kw.com, um, sign in with that username and password. Uh, keep in mind, Username is not case sensitive. The password is. Make sure your capitals, numbers, lower cases um, are where they're supposed to be and that you have no spaces before or after your password as that would prevent you from logging in. Um, but once we sign in, um, we will come to our homepage. Um, now keep in mind, yours might look a little bit different from mine. They are slightly customizable. Um, for today, we're going to take a look at designs. So we're going to take a look at two different pieces in designs. We're going to take a look at a social design, and then we're going to put that social design in an email design. So the reason we're doing that is because you can't create a social design and email it out. So if you create a social piece and want to then send it in an email, it would first need to be added to an email to send out. Um, so let's take a look at creating a social uh, design. We're going to let that load. Now, once that loads, I'm going to take a look at some templates here. Um, I think I'm just going to create something simple. We're going to take a look at a holiday one. Um, let's see. Let's say that we want to send something for St. Patrick's Day, um, since that's the next holiday coming up. So we're going to go ahead and hit use. I'm just going to keep it simple for you guys. So something that doesn't have a lot to it. Um, so once that loads, it's a little blurry. It should fix itself here in a second. We're going to go ahead and swap the logo. Um, you don't want to leave that logo there. So you either want to remove it um, or add your Market Center logo. Um, make sure you check with your compliance. Um, however, for the email, it's most likely going to already have your logo. So you would probably be okay but I'm just gonna switch it out for you guys. So we're gonna take a look at assets because I already have some Market Center logos added. Ooh, we're running a little bit slow today. Give it one second here. And sometimes I get click happy and it's not always the best thing. All right, so there we go. So I'm just gonna click this top one. Um, ooh, that's really tiny. Um, that's okay, we'll just make it bigger. It shouldn't be that tiny. Actually, let's just switch it with a different one. Let's go ahead and do this one. Weird, that one did it too. Maybe they're making updates to command and it's uh, you can pull in differently. That made it look blurry. So instead of swapping it, we're just gonna click one and see if it will appear a little bit more clear. Go ahead and do it that way. All right, well, that's okay. Hopefully they're making some updates and that's why we're seeing that. But um, now that I have this uh, created, let's say that's all I wanna do to it. Again, keeping it simple for today's uh, tip video. Um, but if you needed to make any other edits, you certainly can. Uh, but once I'm done, I'm gonna actually download that to my computer. So I'm gonna switch it to either a PNG or a JPEG. Um, I'm gonna do PNG and I'm gonna hit download. Now, again, once my social piece is created, whether it is a holiday graphic or just listed or just sold, open house, whatever social design you want to include, um, we can then hit done and go over to pull that into the email campaign. So again, download it to your computer because we're, then we're going to upload it. Um, so hit done, um, I'm gonna hit home. Sorry, things are just moving a little bit slow over here today. So hopefully I didn't just back out of that while it was still downloading, but that's okay if we did, because we'll come back in. Oh, there we go. That may be why it wasn't letting me go to uh, the other page. So now that I've downloaded that, I'm gonna come back into designs. And now you'll see my design is showing up right here at the front. I'm gonna do create, and this time I'm gonna do the email template. So I'm gonna hit next. Um, 
Now you could use one of the pre-made templates here, but I'm gonna go ahead and create this uh, from scratch. So we're gonna go ahead and do create a new template. Um, and quickly, I'm just gonna drag in my header and my footer. Um, so you'll notice that those appear broken, um, like they're not plugging in information. If you hit the eyeball, you will see, as long as that is plugged into your marketing profile and command, that information is going to pull. Um, if you run into any issues though, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to take a look. Um, now I'm gonna pull an image and you'll notice I have some images here. These are not images that are currently within my designs. Um, they could be, but I had to download them and upload them to the email campaign for them to show up. So we're gonna do the same thing and hit add an image. And we're going to browse and I'm gonna just grab that one up at the top. Um, now that I've dragged it in, you'll see it's sitting down here. I do have to click it. You'll see it has a blue box around it now and it will then let me add save. So now it's going to pull that in. Um, I can resize it by uh, dragging those corners in or dragging them out. Um, this one's not, but I can also hit the pen and resize that here. So if I wanna do 450 oops, by 450 and then hit done, done is your save there. Um, it's going to then resize that. Uh, I can also hit the preview again to take a look at that. Um, I can switch the device to preview that as well, how it's going to look. Um, and then I can go ahead and hit that X. Um, if I'm happy with this, this is all I wanna send, then I'm done. If you want to then add any additional information, um, text or whatever with that, you most certainly can um, and create your design here. Once that's done, um, you can hit save. You can also send a test or preview that. Um, and once you're done with that, you can then go ahead and pull this into your email campaign to send out bulk letter, uh, send out as bulk, um, or to just a few individuals, totally up to you. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and save. And then you'll notice I have two. So the way to differentiate those two, this one says email and this one says social. So again, the reason for that is if we were to come into email campaign and try to send one, it's only going to pull up email, um, email templates for us to select from. I'm clicking the wrong thing. Select to design. So you'll see here, these are only email templates. I cannot pull that social design in directly. Um, it doesn't even show up for me. So that's the reason we went over this today. If you have any questions or if there's anything else that we can help with, uh, please email us at support at We would be happy to help. Have a great day.